Patrice J. Williams from Looking Fly on a Dime, and I'm celebrating BlackEnterprise.com's Black Blogger Month at 4040. Who's been the most influential person in my fashion blogging career has probably been fashion magazines, um, really high-end ones, which you may not think go really well with the Looking Fly on a Dime motto, but I kind of look to them as inspiration for what can be achieved with thrift store fashion and budget apparel, and I mean, anything's possible. You don't have to have a million bucks just to look like a million bucks, so I kind of like looking at the high-end fashion magazines as my inspiration for what's possible. A lot of people ask what thrifting is, and it's basically just going to a secondhand store, finding some awesome, fashionable finds, and they cost dollars. I think a lot of people should really get into thrifting because it really nails home the idea that your style is never determined by your wallet. So even if you have 20 bucks, if you know the right thrift store to go to, you can get a head to toe outfit. So thrifting is something that everyone can get into. It's really simple and easy, and it's not intimidating at all. When it comes to where I see my career going, um, I really think the sky's the limit for looking fly on a dime. The blog has allowed me to transition into television, which was something I never really saw myself doing, but when you're blogging and really putting a lot of energy and effort into it, the right people find you. So I really see myself going into more television, um, locally and nationally, hopefully, and a book deal as well, that would be nice, um, to really kind of have a style guide for women who just want to have one destination for where they can go to get the best fashion for less and tell women everything they need to know about looking fly on a dime, basically. The moment when I realized I had a brand versus just a blog, it was a Thursday night and I was just standing in line waiting for the bus and I actually got an email from a producer at a local news station. Um, he recognized the blog, he found my YouTube channel, and they wanted to bring me in for a meeting. So that was the moment that I knew that looking fly on a dime wasn't just Com. It wasn't just a blog, but it was really a brand that was becoming recognizable by some big name people. And that's when I knew that other opportunities would come out of it. And I had to kind of expand my vision and know that it wasn't just a website that I was working on, but it's a viable business and it's a brand that's continuing to grow and the right people are recognizing it and they also see that it's a brand. So television, books, other videos. So. It's definitely more than just a website for people to reference. When it comes to why I do what I do, um, I would rather run my blog than work a traditional nine to five. Um, I've done that before and it's great, but I'm really not the type of person who likes being in a cubicle or coming to an office every day. So I like having the freedom of really working when I want to. I'm, I'm an early bird, so I naturally get up at six or seven a.m. But if I want to take a break in the afternoon, I can do that. If I want to start working late at night, I can do that as well, versus having the traditional 9 to 5 or 10 to 6 where I'm essentially working on someone else's schedule and their time, but since it's my blog and my brand, I do what I want when I want and I see awesome results. How I got on the Nate Berkus show is pretty simple. Um, I just received an email from a production assistant and she found the blog through a random Google search and she gave me a call and they liked my personality. It was really that simple. Um, it's kind of hard to get on television in one sense, but in a way it's really not. Um, the right people are always looking for the right content and the right personalities. People who are bubbly, but not too bubbly and annoying, but more than anything, they're knowledgeable. So when the producer just emailed me, they knew that I had some content that their viewers would really love. And it was really simple. Sent the email, we spoke, met with the staff and they were awesome so it really just came out of an awesome production assistant finding my blog emailing me and we connected